I've missed you. I missed you. It's been all summer. We've kind of enjoyed our summer. Been on a break. Got our heads together. Got yeah. some tough decisions that we had to make. It. <laughs> heads together. I don't think you're still together. We enjoyed our summer. I'd say we enjoyed our summer before we bounce back into. I think that we're going to have the rest of the crazy year. You know that I like to do me and my predictions. And here we are as usual. I'm predicting it's not going to be a fun and easy year, but we're going to finish getting ready and survive through it like we did the rest. We did. We made it this far. Right. We've made it to. I mean. Season uh, three. Season three. What do we have? Like 225 some episodes. Something like that. I don't know. It all ran together after a while. It did. It was just so much fun, but we were doing it like a lot. Yes. It was a little much but um we like to change up what we talk about throughout each season so mm -hmm. the first season we did a lot of mom talks so you guys can get to know us yep. second season since life was so stressful we decided to take things a little bit easier. here bad. we are here we are in the third season ready to jump back into the tough topics that moms like to talk about i'm ready right now so i am are, too like... let's talk about our summer what'd you do oh, god um really it's been hot as mm. It has been hot, but I still don't believe in global warming. Really? No, I don't. Something's going on with where it's hot. I'm glad that I went on vacay in, Janu um, in January, in June, mm -hmm. because it was not as hot, of course, as July and August. Yeah. I mean, I felt like it hasn't been below 94 except until for, now. I was going to say, except for today. <laughs> Today and yesterday were a little. It was no, so even, nice. Yesterday was. Yesterday was beautiful. No Don't chilly, take that not away. Not chilly at all. Not no. Chilly at all. Today beautiful. chilly. Mm -hmm. You know, I get in the car and, and Allie was riding with me, and I'm like, "Damn it, I left my jacket." And she goes, "Mom, stop. Get in the car. It is not even close to being cold." Well, we're still in. Oh, we're August. in the beginning of September. September. Yeah, wrong month. We're in September, so I'm I can see. Why. I don't think <laughs> you'd need a coat yet. I was chilly. I needed. You know, a she's one to talk. The one who wears jeans and long sleeve shirts throughout the whole summer, telling you you don't need a jacket. Thank you. Yeah, I, I don't agree. know what she was going there with, but she was tried me. She tried me. Okay. So did you get <laughs> your know. jacket? No. Oh. So now you know I'm up here without a jacket. Okay. Surviving. So I'm surviving. Okay. It is what it is. And what else? Jackson's been playing football, which is exciting. He's Very a little exciting. beast. Tackle. I like to see him tackle. Okay. Okay, and he, he does. Is tackling. Does he tackling? Okay, he's tackling. Has he taken a hit? He takes hits. Did your like heart drop? Um, <laughs> I can't. I would. I'd be nervous. I'm so nervous about the whole situation. Mm -hmm, like I hate tough. it. So but he's pretty. He's a hat, he's all padded up. Okay. He's got like every pad there is for protection. Right. So. Okay. I don't know. He loves it though. He has fun. And he watches like Ray Lewis videos all the time, which is Sorry, super was... cool because that's my favorite football player of all time. Okay. So he'll be, I'll come into the room and he'll be watching YouTube's of Ray Lewis's old plays. Okay. And it'll be mixed with like songs. And I'm like, oh, this is pumped. Okay. And that if he has that kind of spirit, he will go far. Oh, okay. It's a leader. Okay. It's I that agree. Leo. You know it. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. We got that baby Leo. So, you know, mm -hmm. um, but that and just like work and mom, you know, just school. Okay. School. School's a big topic this summer. Huge topic. Wait a minute. School has been a topic for me all summer. One of the reasons I wanted to take a break was I needed to research all of the school options um, available to yeah. us because I was really worried that the school year was going to start. We know from the first season I was uh, one of the people that wore a mask at first, decided later on um, after sitting back, watching the virus, seeing the statistics, watching different doctors' point of views that, you know, masks are not going to be for us and our family. Never put it on my kids. I kept them in the house uh, when I thought it was dangerous. If it wasn't dangerous, we were good to kind of go out, started living our life as normal. think we're good. I also think we caught it in the very beginning. If you listen to the earlier seasons, I'm sure we talked about that. Um, but, you know, my boys are good. We're good. Anyhow, I was worried that my school system was going to implement a mask mandate. mandate. Mm -hmm. Correct. I, and I told you I was worried all summer. And you kept going, 
not going to do it. <laughs> like just send him back to school. He's going to be fine. Um, and I was going to do a blended program where I was going to send him back to school part of the time. And the other half, he was going to do virtual. And I'd say in August, I decided to pull the trigger and get him um, full cyber charter school. And I guess the weight just lifted off my shoulders. And I hope, I think you might've seen a difference from me because I was panicking all the time about what was going to happen. Um, and here we are, my school board decided to change their mind um, and they're putting the mask back on the kids. Counties are all doing different um, mandates. So yeah. some are allowing it, some aren't. And it, there's no, um, right or how wrong, do I say this? I guess it's, well, I mean, it's no right or wrong parental choice, I guess. It's Correct. your kids and what you choose for your kids is, you know. See, we're jumping right back into the hot topics that yes. are hard for people to talk about it. So let's talk about it, Stacey. I think that you've been completely opposite from what I've handled this, not completely opposite, but your view yeah. at, on the masks and other items have been different than mine. So you want to tell them about, you know, with do you mask your kids still? Because you did. So um, my kids are like, I think they have to be masked on a bus. And so they, they're going back to school. So they'll have to listen to that. Okay. Um, but if it changed, would you keep them in there or would you yeah. pull them out? Okay. Yeah, I would keep them in if they had to be masked. Again, okay. Because they went last year. They were masked last year. Right. I mean. So again, yeah. two different views. I still love you. still love you. Okay. And our kids are downstairs hanging out with each other right now. So, it is what it is. It is what it is. Like right. We do different parenting for different folks. Right. Different but I'm not asking her to take the kids, the mask off the kids. And you're not asking me to put a mask on mine. So we kind of make it work. And we think that's kind of how it should be. You know, whatever makes you feel comfortable, whatever makes me feel comfortable. But we're not, we're not asking the other person to change their view. No. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that's what we're doing. I think that's how we keep it real. I agree. So one of the nice things is I'm really excited about cyber char charter school last year i did virtual learning and there was a lot of independent work that i had to do with alex as opposed to, i hardly had any help um this one i think we're gonna have a lot of help they've sent a lot of the supplies everything that we're gonna need i mean i and we already had our first session so it was with the teacher it seemed very in interactive because they, they do this this is all that they do right and then he got to meet all his other classmates and they got to break out into different rooms to talk about their summer and he was excited about it so i think it's going to be a good thing i'm hoping for the best but i'll be sure to keep you guys updated on how cyber charter school is going yes because i okay. want to know I, we'll see god and bless they, you they help students with ieps is that what they're called yes okay is there a program called 504? Yes, that's either or. You either are 504 or IEP. Okay, because um, I know you've talked about that before. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of, and this the homeschooling community, they're so helpful. Mm -hmm. I'm really surprised. Good I felt know. that it was really small, but there there's a ton. And it's nice to know that there's other options. You don't just have to send your school, your kid to public school, um, not just for the mask reasons, but there are other things going on, right? Definitely. Yes. So as we've been keeping an eye out in the summer, catching different stories, we've seen a lot of stories on teachers that we know a lot of them are very helpful. They want what's best for the students, mm -hmm. but there are some other that want to put their own beliefs and views on your child that you may not necessarily believe in. And you think they're going to school talk, think, you know, learning regular history things that we learned when we went, just the normal stuff. And I always thought they were lying to me, though. I, <laughs> I don't believe anybody. It's the worst. It How but do I live? Like, 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 I know. Like theory, <laughs> I and, can't take and you it. To school. But, like, you know, you think that's what but they're I know what learning. Mean. But they're not learning about, like, things that can harm them and things that could, like, really change the core home values whole core right whole core i agree hate so we were talking about this case what it's in new jersey we are we're going to talk about that case right but i saw last year during my homeschooling experiences it was an eye-opening experience because i could see every assignment that he did mm -hmm. i i watched it i did it with him except for math my beautiful wonderful niece <laughs> helped him with math throughout the whole year and all he keeps saying is not gonna like my math teacher as much as I did last year. And we love you, Amelia. Okay. <laughs> Thank out. you. Yes. So anyhow, it was an eye-opening experience because for the most part it was normal work. Yeah. But I definitely saw assignments that pointed out things that made me uncomfortable, pointing out um stereotypes. 
for different students or different like blondes, you know, yeah. um, they were saying that blondes are stupid, known to be stupid. Uh, oh, and really? That, oh, yeah. I wish I would have had this assignment. Um, <laughs> like oh, I took video, a picture like, of so on much. The assignment, in the assignment, that. they said that there's a lot of stereotypes that go on throughout the year okay. or I mean, throughout the world. And okay. here's some of the stereotypes that you may come across. Okay. So, and he's in fourth grade. So blondes are, are known to not be smart. That's, okay. I think that something along the lines of, you know, um, Japanese or Oriental people are very good at math. Um, that, you know, just different things that they pointed out the generic stereotypes that you might hear. And then so they, they're passing them along now to the correct, next generation. The like they didn't even grade. know about them, right? And that's exactly what it was. So, so. Alex kind of looked <laughs> in at me like I had to, like, what is she talking about? Mm. So then their assignment was to watch a TV show and point out all of the stereotypes that were portrayed throughout the TV show. Okay. I told him he wasn't doing it. And I told him her teacher, the teacher, he wasn't doing it. And they blanked out that assignment. One of the other assignments that bothered me was the Royal wedding. They wanted him to watch the Royal wedding and talk about how great it was. And to me, that's not worth his time as a fourth grader to watch the Royal wedding as an event. So we opted out of that assignment too. So that again, you have the choice as a parent, if you're keeping an eye out on the assignments, if things agree with your family values. And so it's hard to know what your kid does throughout the school day because they come in and they say, you know, what'd you do? How was your day? It was good. What'd you learn? I don't know. You know, so That's it's, all they do. If you don't ever hear it. So being able to see or kind mm -hmm. of keep an eye on the assignments, is a good thing. Yeah. So this cyber thing, he has a lot of the virtual teachers that help him through the assignments, but I like the idea that they're all recorded lessons. Okay. I can go back and see everything and see the assignments and catch it when something happens. So we'll see. But wow. Right. And there were other assignments too about celebrities and how great New York and California is. Okay. And they talked about famous celebrities from Pennsylvania. Okay, we're in Pennsylvania. And one of them was Wilder Valderrama. From that 70s show. Yeah. He's in fourth grade. And they said, Will Valderrama. Oh, my God. What's his name? Wilbur, Wilbur Valderrama. Am, or, oh, my God. You got me messing up. <laughs> I used to it? know it. I don't know. Wilder. Which is hilarious from that 70s he was show. All, he was Fez. Yes. Mm. And, and he's also Bob the Builder. I mean, not Bob the Builder. It's the other one. Anyhow, you guys can let me know in the comments. But he was a <laughs> voice for a cartoon. So instead okay. of them saying that he was the voice for the cartoon, they said, you two can be famous one day, like this actor from that 70s show. And then, you know, Alex is like, well, well which show is that? Valderrama. That's what it is. I'm convinced. Go ahead. What's his name? It's not Bob the Builder. Are you going to look it up on which cartoon Wilmer he was on? Wilmer Valderrama. Yeah, which show? Which cartoon? Not important. That you felt like you should be learning about. Not at all. That's not what you should yeah. be learning at school time. So other things that are definitely more important have been <laughs> popping up. So let's pull up our Instagram page and we're going to pull up Project Veritas and take a look at the show that was um, exposed by them. Yes, do that. Like I, I have an Antifa flag on my on my wall, um, and a student complained about that, and he said it made him feel uncomfortable. Well, this is meant to make fascists feel uncomfortable, so if you feel uncomfortable, I, I don't really know what to tell you. <laughs> like, I have 180 days to turn them into revolutionaries. How do you do that? How do you scare the fuck out of them? There's a reason why Generation Z, these kids, are, are becoming further and further left. I, I, I probably uh, as, as far left as you can go. The Sacramento organization that is under the banner of Antifa is, is very loosely organized, right? Um, and like we, we have no official like member yeah, yeah, list, yeah. right? And Sacramento, uh, you know, as as the city itself is, is incredibly diverse, but um, we're surrounded so by a bunch of right wing rednecks. Every single one of us can do something. Yeah. I'm not asking you to all be on the front lines, but I am asking you to be involved. Yeah. And it is so much more than just sharing a tweet or posting on Instagram. I've gone down those deep, dark rabbit holes where, like, the idea of, like, adventurism and just being like, why aren't people just, like, 
taking up arms. Like, why are we, and, you know, we have taking up arms, like, yeah. against the state. And we have historical examples of that happening and them getting crushed and being martyrs for a cause. I've had, like, students show up for, like, protests, community events, you know, tabling, food distribution, all sorts of, all sorts of things. So, like, they, it's, and I do it for extra credit. So they get points for doing it. They, when they go, they take pictures, they write up a reflection, that's their extra credit. If you use teachers like you, I think there's more than there used to be. And I, I think that, uh, like, there's three other teachers in my department that I did my credential program with. And they're rad. They're great people. Um, and they're definitely, like, on the same page. They've got TikTok. Got right. That is well, that's just it. It's like, utilize that propaganda. These ideologies are considered extremes, right? Extreme times breed extreme ideologies. The revolution that happened in, in 1949 with, like, Mao and, like, yeah. the Chinese Communist yeah. Party, right? And then, like, the cultural revolution that happened in the 60s to the 70s up until, like, Mao's death and then Bang coming in and, like, opening up to capitalist, you know, kind of investment and, and creating the road that they're currently on um, and then like what Xi Jinping is attempting to do now kind of like going back to more the Maoist understanding of socialism that you needed propaganda of the deed, the economic, and also pop the cultural propaganda as well. You needed to re retrain the way that people think. People were definitely like, you know, shot in the streets that probably shouldn't have been. Consistently focusing on education and a change of cultural propaganda. It's like we have to hit both fronts. We have to convince people that this is what we actually need. Okay, so that was a small clip of one of the undercover conversations that happened with Project Veritas and this teacher. Again, I know that's not all teachers, but it's just something to think about that they are in your school. And that's not one of the only flags to look out for. You also have the teachers that are sleeping with the kids that you hear about, you know, forever. So just want to be able to watch your kids and trust who you're sending them in with. You know what bothers me? What? That you have to drop your child off at the front door and you're not allowed in the school. Right, because of COVID. So now, no, right, no, right? Before. Oh, I felt I could come in. When do you drop them? When you drop them off, you drop them off at the front door and you keep rolling. Like oh, you go no, in. Yeah, like a drop off. Yeah, like you go in, you have to check out the front window. Uh -huh. Everything's kind of locked. Like, it's nice if you have a daycare provider, a home daycare provider, that you can walk in. Yeah. And check on your kid. You can't get that at all. Like, at all. Yeah, you know what I, I get mean? what you're saying. Because um, I used to go visit the school before COVID. And then, like, we would have lunch with our kid. Me too. And... But they stopped the lunch with our kid before mm -hmm. COVID. Oh, they did? Ours wasn't. Mm-hmm. And they stopped it. That sucks. Yes. You had ours. Mm-hmm. No. Because mine were still bugging me every Friday to have Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Chick-fil-A? Which, <laughs> Sorry. That's terrible, though. Like, your kid's being brainwashed by the views of teachers who are only supposed to be teaching them facts. Correct. And not their feelings and what they feel and views of what they think is right. Right. That's crazy. Showing them, like, the KKK and everything, all those things that the guy was teaching I think we were watching live when the parents were like going off. That's all on Project Veritas too. Mm -hmm. Watch it. Well, I watched the actual live when it was going Me down. Me too, but I fell asleep. You did. Well, it was a long time. It was. And every parents minute, every parent had two minutes to talk, um, and it was one after another. And the board, the BFE Board of Education, would call like a five minute recess and kind of came back, and then they called a five minute recess, like kind of after that ninety minutes, let three more parents speak maybe three to five, then called another five minute recess and snuck out the back door. Sneaky cowards. Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. They left out the back door and Parents left. Were lighting their ass up. Yes. They left um, their lawyer mm -hmm. there to speak for all of the parents. And they ended up letting the teacher that we were just watching go. go mm -hmm. Right. Because he was on paid leave at the time. And they said they were trying to find out how to put him on unpaid leave and then to let him go. But after that parent meeting, they just let him go. One of the other things that. Project Veritas exposed was they were trying to show the school the video and the school wouldn't look at it. And so that was a whole other part of mm -hmm. the school. Why won't you look at it? You're right. Why right. look at it? Ridiculous. <laughs> oh, you know what it reminds me of? Um, flowers in the attic with the cookie and they were like, yeah. eat the cookie. Got your video. 
drink your Kool-Aid. Mm-hmm. Anyhow, um, <laughs> so just trying to look out for this eventful school year that I'm sure will be. It's going to be yeah. something else. I feel bad for the kids because I feel like everybody else is kind of allowed to keep on going and the kids are basically just being shuffled around doing what they're told. It's scary. It's confusing. It's unnecessary. It's scary as F. Mm-hmm. You know, but listen, so I met the parent back to school night, oh, right? Okay. And I felt like an old head. So they're like, any questions? You know, and of course they went over everything. Long. You got a question? Teacher was long winded as a uh, very long winded. And was it in person? She was trying to be funny, bless her heart. She thought, you know, like little parts, she was like, hee hee, like let nobody <laughs> laugh. There was only like five people in the room and they were just dry. Okay. I was like, you poor baby. Anyway, <laughs> she was talking about all their, like, things. And I'm like, well, so I heard that you're not allowed to have trapper keepers. Oh. Do you know what a trapper keeper of is? Of course I know what a trapper keeper Thank is. Thank you. Click, click. Did they ask what a trapper keeper was? I said, are they allowed to have trapper keepers? They were like, what is that? And I was like, seriously? <laughs> <laughs> I got to Google this shit. And so I, like... <laughs> I googled it Why and I like showed her, but they were like one was trying to tell the teacher. Another lady was like, you know, which ones? The one that apparently there's a different kind. Why can't? Why did you think that they couldn't have trapper keepers? Somebody told me that I need to make sure because they have been banned where they were because I guess kids feel like you know like some kind of way. It's like a jealousy thing if a kid has one and they don't. People can walk around the school with Nikes, but they can't walk around with a trapper the keeper. Sight. <laughs> You got Sykes. Back, back in our day, we had Nikes and Sykes. Okay. But I'd be the one with the Sykes. With the paint the N on it? No, but I, I, I wouldn't it. now. I would be the one with the Sykes. I wouldn't care now. Like before, that's what I mean. Right now, I'd wear the Sykes, but before, I would probably wear the Nikes. Oh but God, now I, I wear the so Sykes. I was so into like, the fashion, and I had to dress a certain way. And God forbid, like I said before, you wear the same clothes in a two-week span. Yeah, but I wasn't like that. Because they were going to talk. Mm-hmm. But, you know, so I'm still kind of that way, yeah. too, in life. I enjoy dressing up, but I enjoy dressing <laughs> down. So, like, as much as I would go to school dressed up, I'd also go to school in, like, sweatpants. That's fine. I better not have the same sweatpants on in the same two weeks. Why? They'll talk about you like you dirty. Oh, you. Yeah. Oh, they wouldn't so, talk same about thing, me like concept. That. If they did, I didn't know. <laughs> they didn't tell me. Oh, they the let Nikes. us know. They're like, oh shit, they got the same pants on. They did that loud. I feel horrible about Nike because they have good sweatpants, and I do buy Alex Nike sweatpants from them. I don't like to support Nike usually because it's like little kids in sweatshops putting all the products together. Doesn't that make you feel bad? And then they sell them so expensive to us. It's funny you say that, little Why kids in sweatshops. Funny? But I Why get is it. That funny. So did you know, just come up. Yes. So okay. Back to mom life really quick. I was, you know, crafting for okay. Jackson's football team. Just ask me, you know. <laughs> did you put to... all the kids to work? No. <laughs> Get Listen, to I felt it, it though, kidding. right? Because right. like Just is like, you know, I need shirts that say coach. And it's that on him. Mm-hmm. Do you know he treated me like one of them little kids in the sweat shop? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, and, and then took my coffee. That was the same day. So that same day. So all I wanted is payment for making all, you know, five shirts. Okay. Five. Okay. Five. Um, It's not an easy thing to just whip out It was up all night, you know. And I'm only one person. I do know. I understand. And you ever seen that thing when they're like, it takes all... Um, it costs so much because it takes me hours. They I have do. some, they have the real. Mm-hmm. It's true. It that does. shit does take people a long time and you need to either, or, and then I like the one when it's like, um... If you if you broke, just say so. Because I'm not changing my prices. I haven't heard that. So cut. You ever heard it? <laughs> heard All the reels one. are so funny, and they're like, no. "If you broke, just say so." Because I ain't changing my prices. So come back when you get it. Oh no, I haven't heard that. You guys changing it, it. Like so, it's cute. Anyway, um, I get it though because you're like working and everything's handmade and you're doing it yourself. So um, it takes a long I did it time. myself, mm-hmm. and then all I wanted was a Starbucks um iced almond iced chocolate almond milkshake and espresso and i couldn't get that and i ended up getting the wrong thing from duncan and then they accidentally took my drink and left no coffee for you no coffee for me <laughs> and so i didn't even get payment i just felt like one of those kids in the sweatshop 
I know how they must feel. Do you? Do you know? Do you know how nothing. they feel? Nothing all day. I didn't even get coffee. It's all I wanted. No, I did no. it for my baby. I did it for my son. And they look good in the field. I they saw. I noticed. I peeped the shirts. Oh, we're getting broken. Hey, baby. Oh, what's up? Ooh. Are you blowing us up? There's an actual grenade on the table. Did Daddy give that to you? There's water in it. Go put it out. Don't go put it in the sink in the bathroom. You look like you've got a plan. Yeah, I drink it. You can You're drink it. Drinking? Like a potion. Like a potion. All right. No, it's a potion. That's like a love cool. potion. It's like a potion. Why does it gotta be a love potion? I love love, but it's, it's a strong lot. potion. <laughs> strong it. potion. He's Probably drinking it, guys. Huh? Yeah. Drink. All right, and then he go ahead and shut the door. You can drink it. I love you. Love you. Oh, just like the old days. Old days. It really is just like the old days. Season one. Season back one. Season three. We Kids get interrupted. In. It's our mm -hmm. life. If you guys, you know, you're probably same as us. Yeah. You wonder how we can do a podcast and have kids. This is what happens. And one day mm -hmm. in this upcoming season soon, we're going to do a YouTube video on how to start your own podcast on a mom budget. Because you guys need to know how to do it, too. It's you know? fun. And it hasn't been easy. Even how to do reels, everything. We're not going to start our own little thing. Yes. Just trying to teach you guys. Just to help you guys Mom out. version. Right. Without asking for your money for it. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. just going to tell you what we do on low budget as far as mics or how we stream and all of that. We're going to let you guys in on a secret because that's what we do. Because I had to learn everything and you had to learn everything all on our own. On our own. And every time we tried to get help from somebody else, they took advantage of us. Do you remember the music guy? Oh I my still gosh, have guys. nightmares. We got our <laughs> intro done by this guy. And I don't even remember. The it was to do, an, not even just a music guy. It was to do the entrance and our intro. YouTube intro. Mm -hmm. Our podcast song and our intro YouTube yeah, yeah, and you paid them fifty and fifty bucks. But listen, we were just money. starting out. This is when we had like a <laughs> hundred followers. We tried this, right? Tried. And he sent it to us, and it was so lame. I wait a minute. I was like, well, maybe we can work with it. And Stacy heard it, and she said, "Why the fuck did he send us some kind of Sesame Street jingle back to us?" And we're supposed to play it on the podcast. The thing about it was, oh, yes, was is that I got a nap and made her own damn intro. Right. I learned to do it my damn self. I agree. So we're going to end up seeing on the season. Definitely are. Definitely. Going to help you guys out. Mm -hmm. And you, you can know. always hit us up for in, in our inbox for questions or suggestions too. Are there any hot topics that are hard to discuss that we should be discussing on yeah. this season? Let us know because we're ready for it. We also have a brand... Um, we also have a very exciting guest coming up in October. Key Jin will be joining our podcast. I can't wait. Can't wait to hear what kind of story she wants to discuss with us. Um, it's exciting. It's very exciting. And it's in October. Halloween. So appropriate. I agree. I wonder what kind of rituals are going on in Halloween. Some weird shit. Yeah. Holly weird. It is. It is. Okay. So, all right, guys. Well. Anyway, we're back and we're so excited. And coming up next, we're going to do some horoscopes. Yes, we're going to go back to our Tokes with Stacy yes. segment. Now, she does have a new podcast partner over at Tokes with Stacy, which is her mama. Uh, Stacy's mom, <laughs> she's the hottest. She's got it going on. Okay. And they like to discuss cannabis cooking. Yes. So it's something new that Stacy's dipping in. Another thing we're going to be talking about up on season three, maybe mm -hmm. she can make the a cannabis version and I can make the cannabis free version something like that I think so you know we can do some episodes about that I think exciting. that we have to have Bernie on for empanadas yeah we're gonna have that I want to be over there though when you do it I know it's just definitely all, you know all definitely. of us Bernie is my mom so we're gonna learn how to make empanadas with Bernie as yeah. well be can't wait she was on one of our videos uh at season one we keep going back to season one because season two was pretty much just reality tv but on one of our youtube videos it was how to tie-dye at home with everyday kids pink uh, kids pink kids finger paint and it my was mom like what, was dollar on that store, video. right yeah and they work good i still use my tank top 
Girl, I got every shirt we made. I know. They were so good shirts. I want to make some more tie-dye ones, though. Maybe we'll make some. I think on our website, momstalkingshit.com, we sell all of our merchandise. We've got new products coming out for you. We've got our new Moms Talking <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm playing on our Instagram page. Go ahead. Our Moms Talking Shit logo, uh, podcast <laughs> logo. And then we have, what is what you got, girl? I am wearing the dopest mom tee. I gotta move my mic over because there we go. yeah. So we can show our new products. So that's gonna be hitting our website soon. We are two moms, so we have a lot of ideas, but there's so only many. so much we can only so much we can get going on. <laughs> um but come out on our website. So if there's anything that you would like to see, again, hit us up. Let us know. We'll see if we can get that product on there. Definitely. Oh, and of course. Oh, I cut you off because no. I'm so excited. But I can't forget about our number one sponsor, Polar, Polar Blast. Blast. Mm -hmm. Damn it, I don't have mine. <laughs> no, it's okay. They're still coming out with new designs. Head over to Tokes with Stacy, and you can see her using her Polar Blast daily. I have it on all the Instagram videos. I think so. If you guys don't follow me, go on my page, follow me, Tokes with Stacy. Uh, you can see. Me doing the Polar Blast. Right. And uh, they also make custom just cups. Definitely. Like drinking cups. I ha usually have mine, but not today. You don't have it today. Not so today. we're going to come up with um, the Marijuana Horoscopes next. So I hope you guys, you know, listen and stay tuned. We'll be back. All right. We're back with Marijuana Horoscopes. And as always, you guys can find these at MarijuanaHoroscopes.com. All right. And they always start with Aquarius. Mm-hmm. Aquarius is January 20th through February 18th. So you will be seeking equilibrium. That was a big ass word this month. As Mercury <laughs> enters Libra. <laughs> Relatability. In a way that connects to a bigger picture. Thanks. This is a good month to begin studying something you're already informed about, but diving deeper with the intention of gaining specialized knowledge. Nice. As a fruity strain with an immediate buzz, the loud result of gelato number 41 mm, come from 24% THC, allowing you to get creative for much needed balance this month. Okay. Going on Next. to Pisces. <laughs> February 19th through March 20th. And I got the big words because I'm a homeschool teacher now. You got big ass words. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, man, equilibrium. <laughs> I'll say it again. Okay. Relatability. <laughs> Relatability. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's time to be more balanced. Did I say Pisces? Pisces. It's time to be more balanced in your thoughts about your intimate relationships and money matters. What is true or false when it comes to this area of life? Does there need to be more justice or fairness? Harmonious communication is the key to balance of this month. Mm. Be mindful of how you're relating and connecting to triggering issues. God, that's not a good Best one. Be mindful. It's like making you really think about life on that one. Like, what is life? Anyhow. What is life? And I can't wait to hear mine now with that stuff. Charm know. the people closest to you while, marta while my maintaining. I can't Ooh, say anything. She messed it up. I should have jumped in. I did. Miss, fix me. Where you at? To you while maintaining your individuality with a trendy sweet stream. You with a delicious taste and lemon scent combined with stress relief effects. Gushers diminishes the irritations of the day. Gosh, and who doesn't want to be irritated or unirritated? Good. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. Gushers? I don't actually like gushers. I think Gross. they're disgusting. But like, yeah, gushing. Next. I don't like it. Aries. I don't like it. All right, Aries. Oh, it's a short one. <laughs> Your ideas, <laughs> discussions. Yeah. I'm sorry, good. Dance. Aries. Your ideas, discussions, and mental energy are making efforts to achieve balance with Mercury answering Libra in your seventh house of relationships. You'll put a lot of work uh, into how you have rapport with others in a way that initiates balance. Consider all sides and think in a way that results in a fair outcome. So at THC 27%, the loud effects of Cushman's strain comes with the minty aroma and taste also a relaxed mood. Elevation. Did I sound like I was hooked on phonics when I read that shit? Because no, I, I felt think like so. it. You I always feel like you're I feel like I'm like, what? Just take your time. You know, <laughs> it's not a race. Okay. It's not a race. That's what I tell my kids. Okay. Taurus, April 20th through May 20th. <clears throat> 
As situations take place throughout each day, this month, and as Mercury transits through Libra in your sixth house, think about what's fair in all situations. When a negative thought arises, focus on whether or not it's true. This will tell you if you are balanced or not. Before Cherry OG, daily routines were unpleasant, challenging, and rigid. After OG, all is lively, energetic, and mind-body buzzing. You did good. You pump that up. That you read that. I got excited about that. You read that. Okay. And that was who? Taurus. Mm -hmm. Okay, Taurus. Okay, Taurus. Gemini. It's time to gain perspective on what's happening internally and externally because Mercury is entertaining Libra in your fifth house of hobbies, romance, and play. You can only control your own behavior, so pay attention on balancing your thoughts this month. Okay. <laughs> this little piece like Michael Jackson. <laughs> uh, <laughs> your ideas and conversations will be focused on creativity, children, and what inspires you. Okay. The savvy way to get stimulated and centered is with lemon haze. This uh, lifts your mood and helps you get things done while triggering your appetite, reminding you to eat when you're in the zone. Oh, so that makes you eat. Yeah, I okay. guess. Like, and I'm like, man, I don't want to remind me to eat. I have no problem with e eating. Oh. <laughs> Just, I got to remind me. I want to <laughs> eat and get a stone. Okay. Well, maybe some people are workaholics and they need that. Mm, different types of strains for different types of meat. Gemini's do. Right. All right, let me Give yourself a break. Next. Cancer. June 21st through July 22nd. Think about how you are relating to your family, housemates, and your home in general as Mercury enters Libra in your fourth house of this month. It is the connection balance between what you think makes you feel secure and your home life. What private situations could benefit from more fairness? Apple fritter. A full body relaxing hybrid that turns on the creative side of the brain. Sounds good. Get some help in front of the next time we have to work so you can blah, 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 and get all these ideas. I want to spell. I'm going to find it. I've seen apple pie. Okay. So good. Mm. Okay. I like apple pie to Me eat. Me too. Leo. With whipped cream on it. Yum. I want something now. Mm, next time. <laughs> Munchy. Mm. Okay. Leo. You may be noticing some unfairness in your surroundings and within your neighborhood during the Mercury and Libra transit this month. And you may be thinking about justice. Girl, are you feeling unaligned with what's going on around you? Is it causing negativity? It could be related to your thinking. It's something to consider as Mercury moves through your third house of immediate environment. Damn. If you've been wanting to try Sherblato, now's the time. What the hell is a Sherblato? But give me some Sherblato. No. Find time to take a break from fixed schedules and meticulous plans with a boost from Sherblato, guys. That's the strain that they are recommending Leo. And as a Leo, I would say that mine's on point. So on point. I'm about to attend some kind of meeting tomorrow. So we'll see. <laughs> see how that goes. Dang. Ugh. I knew it. I'm, I'm, never like, thought I'm nervous I would. about mine. Your meeting? I'm nervous about my Oh, your horoscope? horoscope. I, I love hearing heard. mine. I'm no, good with it. What's going to say? Okay. It's so true. What's in the stars for what's you? What's in the stars? You gonna read mine for Virgo. me? Virgo. It's my turn. I'm pushing it up. I know, I thought you were like mm -hmm. blowing it up for your mm -hmm. eyes. Okay. No. Okay. Virgo. <laughs> oh your God. thoughts and conversations are centered around your financial earnings, material ownership, and what makes you feel comfortable as Mercury transits Libra in your second house. Notice this month how you are relating to the things you own. And how you earn income so you can see where you need balance. It's all about balance. Mm, all about balance. It may be a good time for decluttering. That could be me too. I declutter all the time even though everybody swears I don't. You see how much shit I get rid of. Okay. Lemon tree. Lifts you higher and does it well. It helps you reach a state of excitement. No more anxiety. Anxiety. No more anxiety, pain, or paranoia. Only good vibes and motivate. Only good vibes and motivation. <laughs> Lemon tree. Lemon tree sounds good. It does. Okay. Libra. Mercury has moved into Libra this month, and you may be thinking about how you can be fair to yourself. This transit is happening in your first house of ego, personality, and physical appearance. If you are grappling with negative thoughts, you must find out if they are true. 
disconnect from false narratives and about yourself to find balance. All right. When it comes to Jelanade, Jelanade, you can imagine the state of comfort and well-being. That's because once you have contact with its energizing effects, you'll gain the uplifted confidence to step into main character energy. Okay. Okay, gently. Get you some. Scorpio, you ready? So ready. Okay. Excuse me. Sure. So now- October 23rd through November 21st. You must figure out if your habits, actions, or conflict resolution style are causing imbalanced thinking. You can tap into your healing or lightening of spirit. You can tap into healing or lightness of spirit with this Mercury and Libra transit that's happening in your 12th house that rules spirituality, transcendence, and dreams. Find time to be alone this month to help you recognize and let go of any self-sabotaging behaviors. Cherry pie will be your new favorite daytime strain. It'll help you diminish tension and pressure while you're giving your attention to your ambitions. I feel it's one point. Okay. I like it. I do too. I thought it was as I was reading it the first time. (laughs) I had to fix it again. Hopefully you got that part. <laughs> I do. I will. Sagittarius. Thanks. A lot of conversations. That was a tongue twister. Did you see all my words? You read that 20 times. Go ahead. I know. It was big. It was hard. <laughs> words. Sagittarius. A lot of conversations and connections are happening around you in public or online this month. Mercury is transiting. Transitioning, transiting, 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 transiting. Ugh. These words, man. Sagittarius. Put together in a row. I know. Yeah. A lot of conversations occur online this month. Mercury is um, transiting Libra in your 11th house of friends, long-term goals, and technology this month. And if you bring attention to getting along well with others during this time, you can expand or refine your network in a way that brings balance. Yeah, because I didn't mess that up once. Good job. <laughs> Thank God for editing. Okay, schedule a night with Lucid Bolt. Ooh, I remember Lucid Blue. Anyway, Lucid Bolt. Did you like Lucid Bolt? I loved it. Okay. An indica dominant hybrid, which is cheerful and distressing. All right. Nice. Capricornius. Capricorn, December twenty <laughs> second through January nineteenth. I do know a Capricorn. You do. I do. Okay. Mercury has entered Libra in your tenth house of career. Legacy and public status. This month is a great time to offer a lot of mental energy towards what you want to accomplish and how you want to be seen in the world. You have to exercise social etiquette and negotiations and public interactions of all kinds starting this month. Triangle Kush has inspiration, mood uplifters, and pain relief that induces heavy sleep or relaxation. A well-spent day brings happiness. What do you think it sounds good for him, that person that you know? Um, no. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Maybe <laughs> he's attending the meeting with me tomorrow. Mm. Do you think that that wants him to show his career legacy and public stuff? You know, I don't think so yet. I don't, I don't think that's in the cards for. I don't know if mine was that good. I'll have to read it again. Yours kind was. Of butchered it. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Okay. Anyway, that was so our worst ghost. Today I'm smoking on um the it's Verano pretty. pen. Isn't it pretty? It is pretty. And it's G6. Okay. And I love it. It's great. It is making me uplifted and creative and energetic and sociable. Okay. And podcast ready. Ready. All right. And so I Thanks. was drinking I wine you. from from, <laughs> from Brown's Market, See the Loganville Winery, <laughs> um, and I stocked up on some yesterday. So you did? It was good. Yeah, it was a good one. But I finished that. Did you get that already. Moscato already? Music I have Gato. a different. I mm-hmm. didn't get that one. That's a different winery I like around that. here. But I'll get that one next. But this time, a shout out to Brown's Market in Loganville, Pennsylvania. They okay. have that's where I get all my vegetables and stuff. Everything. Everything. Cookies. It's good. It's a good bakery. It's a good market. And um, check them out. 
Check them out. All right. We got well, through that horoscopes. And it's, guys, it's our first time back. Like, we're going to be fucking up. Okay? <laughs> anyway, we were practicing. Whatever. We were, we were fucking up before. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like we weren't practicing here for the summer no. break. Okay. Um, but hang in tight after this break. Hang when we come up. back, we're going to be jumping into reality TV, which is our most fun anticipated segment because there's been a lot of stuff going on. A lot. We'll be right back. TV talk. I have been waiting and just uh, dying to talk TV with you. We've been posting our text combos, which mm-hmm. have gotten very popular up on our Instagram. But why every time we got to do something, somebody else has to do it too? You've been noticing it too? Yeah, but it's okay. I I'm mean, it's not, not like we like started it. Bomb, yeah. Dang. It's not like we're trendsetters, but certain things I noticed, like we had your son at the beginning of our podcast, introducing it the whole season two. And I noticed one of the other local podcast, not local, but another podcaster that's very known decided to do that for an episode. We're not going to say who it was. No, we're not going to leave it. We're going to leave it out. But just little things like that kind of happen. So it's mm-hmm. not our idea, but you know, it's like, Whatever. where did it come from? Anyhow. So yes, check out our text combos. And I think we're going to be uploading them more on our upcoming community. We're going to end a subscription and we're going to put some more of this on there too. And look, guys, we would like you to be a part of our website community. We're trying to build it and it's early on stages. So please go to momstalkingshit.com and join our community. No, we don't have it yet. No, we do. We have an email where you can we be do involved have an email. in our community. So we at least can get your email where we can send you reminders and things that are new episodes are coming out. Correct. But we're going to have a whole new community that I'm working on. And yeah. I'm trying to figure out how to do on the I'm going to need a bit Wix. of pressure on you. I know. I'm like, it's going to take me time to figure this out. But anyhow, on our Wix website, yeah. Wix.com. Um, trying to figure out how to build this community thing so that way you guys can get special content from us that we don't post out everywhere else. I agree. So um, it's coming soon. It's coming soon. Bear We're with moms, me. And you know, <sighs> things happened. Um, I did a free giveaway. Oh, yay. Recently. It was good. I did. I did a flower girl tea that mm-hmm. we also sell. Yep. And which is also not on our website. It's my fault. It's coming. It's coming. New and we product. had a winner and she was from uh, Canada. Yay, Canada. And then I just mailed that out and I hope that she shares that. It okay. looks super cool. Okay. I, just, I want to see her shirt in Canada. Right. Well, super you cool. know what else is in Canada? Montel High Density Storage Systems. Mm. And they also do vertical growing systems. Okay. So if you have a dispensary, I don't know if that's what you'd call that you would be growing your own product in a warehouse, if you will, right? Um, you can have rows and rows of these pieces, kind of wind them together, and they have the lighting systems, they have drying racks. So that's one of those um, items that if you're a big time growing person, tell them uh, Mom's Talking Shit sent you. Definitely. Please. Montel, Canada. Right. That's where it came up. Canada. In Canada. Well, right. we, have can, um, we have Canadian listeners. We do. And you can catch us on all major platforms, wherever you get your podcasts. Mm-hmm. We're available on all of them. Also, my podcast, Toast with Stacy, Toast with Stacy's Mom. Mm-hmm. You can also find that on all major platforms. Anyway, I'm glad we summed all that up. You ready for TV? I am. Welcome to Mom's Talking Podcast. It's Stacy. 